Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. My name is Akib and today I'm going to share with you a very useful automation by which you can send leads from your Forminator form plugin to your Salesforce CRM automatically. So Forminator is a very useful and easy to use plugin from WordPress by which you can create many kind of lead generating forms such as contact forms or newsletter subscription forms and salesforce is one of the most widely used crm applications as you already know and here we are trying to connect both of these things together let me show you how so guys to set up this automation we are using public connect which is an integration and automation tool and the flow of this automation will look something like this as in when you collect a lead on form submission from formator form plugin the same lead will be delivered to your salesforce crm automatically okay so let us set up this automation together so guys before setting up this automation first you need to create a form with the help of forminator plugin and embed that into your wordpress website so let me show you how you can do that so first of all to install that forminator plugin you have to uh, Come to your dashboard of wordpress and from this left hand side panel when you click on this plugin section and click on add new this page will open up uh, in front of you like this and here you have to search for forminator okay so search forminator here and it will open up like this in the search results you will find forminator okay so here you can see this is Forminator plugin. You have to install it and activate it in your dashboard in WordPress. So I have already done this. So after that, you can uh, start creating the form and you will find uh, in the dashboard only, you will find after activating the plugin, you will find the name of the plugin here like this. Let me show you this. Uh, here is Forminator. And from here, you can reach the dashboard of Forminator and create any form that you want okay so from here you can create any kind of forms and here are the forms that i have created the lead form and the contact form okay so let me show you how it will look like so i am opening my lead form that i have created like this <clears throat> okay so this is the uh, here you can uh, insert the text fields like this and create any form after that when you publish it it will uh, give you a shorthand code of this form and then you have to go to the pages section of your uh, wordpress website and you have to select the page in which you want to embed this form okay and there you have to find your page okay so my page is so guys this is my page subscribe to our newsletter and here i have pasted the shorthand link of the form you can see this is the link I am talking about. Okay, so I have embedded this form here, and you can select where you want to appear this form in your page by uh, coming here on the appearance section. You can see this is the appearance option, and from here you will find this menus option. Click on menus tab, and from here you can select the page in which you have embedded the form like this. And here you can select uh, the page, and from this menu setting, you can select the location where you want to uh, make this form or uh, this page appear okay so let me show you actually so i'm opening my uh, website page and this is my website page and here on this subscribe to our newsletter page i have embedded the form okay this is the form i have embedded okay now let's start setting up the automation and for that you have to log in into your public connect account and reach the dashboard of public connect here like this okay so please do check the link that we have pasted in the description from where you can set up your free public connect trial account in just two minutes after that you can sign in and reach here on the dashboard of public connect okay and from here you have to create a workflow of automation so to do that just click here on this create workflow button like this and here you can give any suitable name to your workflow also let me fill the name here so guys i have given the name to this workflow as formulator form leads to salesforce automation okay now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this okay and on this page you will find these two things the trigger and the action so our automation work on these two things uh, the trigger is a signal to this uh, workflow that 
when this happens you have to start working and you have to perform an action which is a response to the trigger okay so as in our use case the trigger would be a new form submission and the action or the response to that trigger would be to send the lead collected from the form to salesforce okay so first of all you have to set up your trigger so you have to click here on this trigger window and from the choose app field you have to choose the trigger application as webhook okay why we are using webhook here because with the help of this we can collect any we can collect the data out from any plugin from wordpress or from many places okay let me show you how so webhook is a feature by probably you have to search for it and select it like this and with the help of this uh, webhook url we are going to connect our forminator plugin or the dashboard of wordpress and that's how we are going to get the data out of uh, the uh, form okay let me show you so first of all you have to click on copy here like this then you have to reach the dashboard of your wordpress where is the dashboard i am opening the dashboard like this okay and from here guys when you scroll down on this left hand panel you will find this uh, settings option and from the settings you will find this wp webhooks option okay or wordpress webhooks click on wordpress webhooks and another page will open up in front of you and here you have to select a uh, click on this send data tab click on send data and another page will open up and from here you will find all these uh, tabs and scroll down a bit more and here you will find this contact form 7 plugin tab and fluent form tab and the forminator tab as well okay so click on this forminator form submitted tab and you have to click on this add webhook url button this orange one and here you can give this uh, a name to this webhook uh, so i am giving it as to crm and here in this webhook url field you have to paste the uh, webhook that you have copied from pavli connect like this okay so paste it here in this field like this then click on add for formulator form submitted okay like this so it will take a few moments and it will show you that your webhook url has been added okay and as you copied this url from pavli connect started showing this waiting for the webhooks response so this means now you have to do a test submission or a de demo submission in the form so that we can collect you can we can fetch the data of any lead here in pavli connect and with the help of that data only we are going to set up this automation further okay so let's uh, open my form i am opening my site wordpress website and from there i am going to open my form from this tab subscribe to our newsletter where we have embedded this form and i am going to fill this form here so this will be a demo submission not a real one to set up this automation okay so i am writing the name as john matthews and here i am going to uh put the email address of john and the phone number and the company name as a, as this okay and i'm clicking on subscribe button okay so you can see the form is getting submitted here and you can see thank you for contacting us we will be in touch shortly okay so this person is subscribed now let's check in public connect if we got the data and you can see the data of this form subscription uh, form response is here like this so we have the name of the person the email id the phone number the company name and all these details like this okay and with the help of this these details only we are going to create a new lead in our salesforce crm okay so come here on this action panel now and search for salesforce that is our action application okay so salesforce is here when you search for it this is salesforce guys select the application and here it will provide you uh, these action events you can create an account you can update an account in salesforce you can create campaign update campaign create contact create lead update lead and all these action events for now the action event i am using is to create a lead automatically in salesforce so i am selecting create lead and then click on this connect button okay and from this window you have to select this add new connection 
and then click on connect with Salesforce and another window will open up which will ask for you to log in if you are not logged in as I have already logged in here and you can see in my Salesforce in another tab so it is only asking me for the access to be given to create a new lead here so click on allow that is completely safe and you can see we'll be connected with Salesforce in just a few moments you can see we are connected now and here it is asking for the last name first name title company and all these details to be filled to create a new lead in Salesforce so let me show you my Salesforce dashboard this is it and here I have already all these leads okay so let us uh, make the connection so here I have to fill the details so I'm going to map the details of a lead that I have captured here in the first step okay so to map the details, you just have to click here and you will find this webhook capture webhook option in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the details that you have captured from the form in the very first step and from here I'm going to uh, map this last name like this and then the first name and then the title okay so it is not compulsory I'm not I'm leaving it blank for now you can enter it and in the company let's map the company's name this is the company the phone number here is the phone number and for the email you will find the email from here only okay and I'm leaving these things blank now and lead source you can select the lead source here I'm selecting web you can select the status of this lead as contacted or not contacted or working or closed okay or closed or not converted so I'm selecting here open not contacted and it's a warm lead not a hot one it's a warm lead you can select the rating of the lead you can select the street address you can enter all these details of your lead okay so now let's check our connection with Salesforce if it is working properly or not so I'm going to click here on save and send test request so it will uh, create a new test lead here in Salesforce okay according to the data I have mapped so I'm clicking here on save and send test request and let's see so it will take a few moments here and you can see it started showing this ID and success okay now let's check in Salesforce if we got the data so I'm refreshing my Salesforce page and you can see Matthews John a new lead got added here with the, with all these details okay so you can see all the details of the lead by opening it from here only like this okay right so our connection is working properly and our workflow is completed now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here and guys you have to set up this automation only once you have to uh, do the connection and the mapping only once after that as and when you'll receive a form submission you don't have to do anything manually the data will be transferred automatically and new lead will be created automatically okay so first of all in that trigger I used webhook by Pabli feature fetch the data out of uh, Forminator plugin and then we connected with the help of this URL our WordPress dashboard and collected the data of a test lead here like this and then I connected Salesforce application in the action step and map the details to create a lead okay now you just have to click on this save button and guys the good part is you can use this same workflow because I'm going to paste the uh, the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect trial account and start using this automation instantly. So guys, this is it for today's video. If you got any query regarding our business automation, you can ask and discuss your queries from this forum. And guys, if you want to check the pricing of this application, you can use this link. And if our automations are helping you, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.